So welcome to Review.com's Camera Labs. This is where we test cameras and camcorders. Some of the challenges that we run into when we test cameras and camcorders is manufacturers are always trying to sort of game the system. So while we have to balance being transparent and explaining exactly how we test everything, we also have to expose sort of how we do things to manufacturers. So getting around things like noise reduction and a little bit of software trickery where they don't want to let you know exactly what they're doing, but they're trying to make things look better than they really are. That's the kind of thing that our labs are designed to cut right through. In general, our camera testing consists of taking images of known charts and then analyzing those images in image tests. And with that data, we can then determine what the scores a camera gets. So our sharpness score is actually an amalgamation of three different scores, uh, resolution, chromatic aberration and distortion. One of the tests that we run that we love is dynamic range test. For that, we use the Xyla 21. Uh, it's one of our favorite pieces of equipment. Once we collect all the data for cameras, we run each individual test through an algorithm that gives us a score between zero and 10. So far, we haven't come across the perfect camera yet, but right now what we do is we take the best camera, assign it a score of 10, and then grade everything else on a curve. Lab tests are all well and good, but you're going to use the camera in the real world. So we do a lot of real world testing. We go out, we shoot, take sample photos, to make sure we're going to get a camera reviewed the same way that you're going to use it. So after we finish testing and shooting, we come up to our, our newsroom and we go through all the data with a fine tooth comb and begin to sort of craft our review. And when we go through things, we check for errors, discrepancies, you know, we may retest some things. And then what we do is we compare that against every other camera that we've tested previously to sort of come up with our overall score. If the camera score is high enough, we submit it to our editorial board for an editor's choice award. Now we give these to standout products within a particular category and it's uh, definitely the products that we would recommend personally to our friends, family, anybody that we actually want to get a good camera. At the end of the year, we look back at all of our Editor's Choice winners, all the best cameras that we've tested, and we pick out the very select few that we think are deserving of our uh, Best of Year awards. And these are very coveted awards. We showcase these products across our site. We have a special section in USA Today, and we actually go to the manufacturers and hand deliver our uh, physical awards. We think they're the absolute best products that came out in that previous year, and we honor them appropriately.